uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be talking about that how to generate a pdf invoice after you or uh, after you pay online using shopping websites so you can just generate an invoice using a node.js express library called as easy invoice let me show you a short demo if i run this uh, node application by executing the command npm start on the left hand side you will see a invoice.pdf file will be generated just wait it is starting the server so you will see page 64 code is generated and also a invoice.pdf file is also generated if i open this file this is, will be a payment invoice that is generated after you pay online you will see all the items that you have purchased test 1 test 2 quantity price total and this is a subtotal vat 6 percent and a total amount of that you have paid so it is saying kindly pay your invoice within 50 days so basically this is the format here you can just edit this invoice you can put your own logo and edit the information and now i will tell you about this library so basically if you go to the official website of npmjs node package manager and if you type here easy invoice this is the spelling here of this library this will be the library official documentation it has got 144 weekly downloads so all the source code of this video is given in the video description you can go to my step by step blog here here i have written the step by step instructions on how to use this library so go to the video description in order to follow along with this video all the source code is given so simply you can just copy paste the code here like this now to get started i will be using this library so just make a newly create project here the command is pretty simple npm i then easy E A S Y I N V O I S C Easy Invoice. So execute this command and we will be using it. So let me just delete all the code from this file index.js. So, first of all, what you need to do is that you need to import this module which is Easy Invoice. We need to require it. Either you can require it or you can use import statement. This is totally up to you. If you follow the documentation, they have given all the uh, necessary features that you can implement here you can see you can even use this library on the browser side as well so these are the CDN's link CDN stands for content delivery network so after importing the library they have given a complete example here this is the thing that I liked about this library they have given the complete example so simply what you can do either you can copy from here or you can go to my blog step by step blog so the first thing that I have given here is the example. So simply click on the copy option and and simply you need to paste it. So basically what it is to, it is doing here, we are defining a data object. Here we will write all the data that needs to come into the invoice.pdf file. Let me just delete this PDF file for now. So you will see it has the options currency. You can uh, edit these options. It ha It supports various currencies. Let me just show you the official documentation. They have given support. All these currencies are supported. You can edit this. This is not limited to United State dollar. So you can edit the currency, tax notation, margin top, margin right. You can play with the values, but this template is enough. You just need to edit this value if you want to put your own company logo. So just provide the address. After that, you can company name. You can change the company name, address, zip code, city, country all that stuff let me just show you if i change this to india city to delhi zip code 110092 and my company name let's suppose my youtube channel name coding section so in this easy steps you can just implement it then the client you can provide the client company name address zip code cities in uh, country then the invoice number invoice date you all this information can be fetched from the database after the customer has purchased your product you can dynamically put this information and the products that the customer has purchased and simply the bottom notice property kindly pay your invoice within 15 days you can also edit this after that it contains a method which is create invoice it takes this data object that we have configured and then it contains a callback function holding the result for us you can simply console log and there is a property called as pdf which contains the actual pdf document inside base64 code 
if I just execute this by executing npm start you will see it will print out the base64 code of the PDF file you can see this is the base64 code of the PDF file that needs to be generated now this is a garbage code we don't want this actually we want to store our store this invoice file inside this uh, directory root directory for this we can use the built-in module of node.js which is file system you need not have to install it so just need to require it and after that what you can do is that you can follow my blog I have written the code for that specific purpose in order to store the file locally to store the PDF file locally in node.js after you get your result you will await the result just simply after this you can print out the statement await fs dot write file sync so basically this is the method in order to save a file locally we will uh, save it by invoice dot pdf and we will pass the result dot pdf as the argument and this is a base64 file if i execute it i will get an error because await keyword is not only valid in async function so we need to make this function as async and now you will see the magic it will automatically reload and it will create this invoice.pdf file if I open this you will see our PDF file is ready this is the logo this is the my company name coding Siksha 1102 Delhi India you can customize this accordingly whatever things that you want to put it only one line of invoice is there really quickly you have generated it in PDF format so it also supports a download method as well if you are prompting user to download their invoice after they pay, pay online there also is a download button or download method you can see easy invoice dot download but the but it is only supported in browser it is not supported in node.js so what we can do is that in order to make this as an index.html file let me make this as index.html file and let me have a simple template let me put it as uh, invoice generator so now we can use the CDN link that they have provided on the official website official documentation they provide a CDN link so in this we can any of use this one and right here we can paste it here this is a link of script tag now what we can do is that we can use the download method we can have the script tag and we can have a, bot a simple button download invoice and when we click on this button we will can bind a simple on click and we click on this button we will execute this method that is download invoice so now what we can do is we can simply make this method function download invoice and inside this what we can do they provide this code um, first of all we need to create this so we can have the data object all this data will be there so simply I need to copy this code here first of all we will generate it so simply you can copy it again we are providing the dynamic data or static data you can change anytime after we create it you will see this also contain easy invoice dot download and then we can pass result dot pdf sorry we can pass the name that needs to be we can put the name as invoice dot pdf that's it if I run this application open with live server this is not a node.js application this is just a vanilla javascript application if i click the download invoice button uh, what happened let me just see you can see invoice.pdf is downloaded if i open this file you will see our invoice is ready you can see in this easy way you can generate uh, invoice pdf invoice on the node.js and also on the vanilla javascript site your browser side also so this is a simplest of library that I found on the internet in order to create invoices in PDF format for node chess and 
javascript all the source code regarding this video will be given in the video description you can go to the video description to follow the step by step instruction and please hit the like button guys to support me please comment also and i will be seeing you next video